the president gave a speech last night to convince everybody that we are uh, we're safe and he's got us covered and the federal government has us covered. And I heard a um, interview today with the Department of Homeland Security chief um, in uh, New York City on CNN, and I have never felt less safe. Uh, he was asked the question, you know, uh, 74% or 72%, whatever it is, believe that ISIS is already here. Now, I, I can't believe that 25% of the American people don't believe ISIS is already here. We've already had two people leave uh, from uh, Minnesota to go and fight with ISIS. So, they're, they're, of course, they're here. ISIS has already had um, uh, tweets telling people globally, come to Mexico, go across the southern border and get to America to start to fight. Of course, they're already here. And the Department of Homeland Security chief this morning said, well, that's why the president is sending fighters over to the Middle East. First of all, we're not sending fighters over to the Middle East. We're not sending soldiers over to the Middle East. We're sending advisors over to the Middle East. It sounds a little like Vietnam. Where's the left? And what are we doing? We're going to arm the Syrians. Do you have the audio? I think it was from August 8th of the president of the United States. Let's let's play uh, the ramped up Syrian opposition and a call on Congress to train and equip. Cut 47. Mm -hmm. This is last night from the speech. Across the border in Syria, we have ramped up our military assistance to the Syrian opposition. Tonight, I call on Congress again to give us additional authorities and resources to train and equip these fighters. Okay, stop for a second. You'll notice that he says, again, I call on them again. again. So what he's doing is he is sending a message that he has already been asking for this. He's already mm -hmm. been, the, he's been going down this road for a long time. I'm begging Congress to please let me arm the Syrians because that's the right thing to do. I call on them again. But here's the truth. Here he is, August 8th on arming the Syrian rebels. The notion that they were in a position suddenly uh, to overturn uh, you know, not only Assad, but also ruthless, uh, highly trained jihadists, uh, if we just sent a, a few arms, uh, is a fantasy. Is a fantasy. Is a fantasy. So there he was in August of this year saying it's a fantasy to do that. And then he said last night on September 10th, I call on them again to arm these guys. Which is it, Mr. President? Which is it? What? Just tell us what you believe. Just tell us what you believe. I, 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 I watched that speech last night, and I just... It's amazing how he can have it both ways. I, and, 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 and sleep at night. Yeah. And sleep at night. I gave the speech yesterday at, around this time that the president should give. And I was very kind to the president. I gave him all the benefit of the doubt. Look, just my understand, misunderstanding. Look, I, uh, uh, I really ha I'm an optimist, and I believe the world is better than this. But l let, me, let me be very clear on something. I believe the timing of this speech. Everybody says that it is all about polls. I don't think the president cares. When has the president cared about poll numbers? When has this president cared about poll numbers? If he cared about poll numbers, he wouldn't have done a lot of the things that he's already done. Now, they're thinking, this is what the press is reporting, that he's just doing this because he's seen how the floor has dropped out on him with ISIS. And he's lost a lot. And he's in his lowest rating ever. But he's still not that bad compared to where I think he should be. The way a lot of people think of the president on this particular issue. And he's not that much. What, what is he down? Four points? <laughs> that, that's, that's, that doesn't make sense to me that he's doing this for poll numbers. First of all, what does he care? He doesn't have to be reelected. It goes against everything, right? It goes against everything. He's asking to do the things that he just claimed were fantasy. He by by doing something, he has to claim that 
his policy in Iraq, or at least it will be pointed out, your policy in Iraq was foolhardy at best. So he's, by not saying anything, it's only going to make his poll numbers worse. Unless, unless you know something that I don't know. Now, I don't believe the president is involved in a conspiracy. There's no 9-11 truth or stuff here happening. What I'm saying is, either because of the chatter or lack of chatter, because the press is reporting now that we do know that the government has uh, um, admitted to the truth that ISIS is sending people across our southern border. The president just set the table last night so he can say, that's why I said they were very dangerous. That's why I've already been. I said this before it happened. Now, I don't want to believe in things that are so cynical because I don't think the president wants a good American to die. I don't think he wants our malls shot up. I don't think that he wants, you know, whatever could happen across our border. I do not believe that of the president of the United States. I don't think he wants that to happen. And if if we get to that point, well, we're done. We really are done. Because he's got the power. He's got the military. He's got the military, uh, the media. And if that's really who he is, then there's no chance anyway. We might as well. Let's just take the day off. Let's go golfing with him. Let's take the day off. I think he's tired of this job. I think he... I don't think he liked it in the first place. I think his wife hates the job. I don't think he's really the guy. I mean, who's making this policy? Because he'll say one thing and then he'll do the other. I think he is anti-war. I think he does want to stop the war. Okay. All right. I think he does want to organize the Middle East. That's what he said last week. We have to organize the Middle East. Think of that. Uh, The ultimate community organizer who thinks the way to do this is to organize the Middle East. Well, that's what he has done. All of his policies. Now, it started under George 